Hey guys, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here. It's Cooking with Jack Show and we're booming. We are doing something I'm really excited about. We're trying out a new type of pasta that has low carbs and is not really a pasta, but I had it over my buddy's house and it was amazing. You guys are going to be blown away. You find it in the vegetable aisle. That's right. You find this in the vegetable aisle. It's called shirataki noodles and they have different, different styles and flavors and tastes of shirataki noodles. So come on in close. Let me show you all the ingredients. Basically, we're making spaghetti, meatballs, and sausage. So we got the meat, beef for, um, my mother-in-law's coming over tonight. We're gonna have movie night. She likes beef meatballs, so I'm making beef meatballs. And then everybody else who wants pork, I'm gonna throw some pork sausage in there. And we have some, some of this, here it is. This is the main event right there. It's called shirataki noodles. And this has, how many carbs? Let me look. It has four grams only of carbs. Unlike spaghetti, which like is all carbs. This has zero sugar in it. It's called pasta zero shirataki spaghetti. And you find this, like I found this at Walmart in the vegetable aisle. Go look by the dressings, okay? And it's packed in water. We'll show you how to prepare it. We have tomato paste. We have crushed tomatoes. Uh, we have Merlot wine. We have oregano, basil over here. We got onion powder, oil back here. We have garlic. We have some shaker cheese, some garlic butter. You guys ready? Let's get started with the sausage and meatball preparation first. Okay, before I start cooking, I want to tell you about this product that was sent to the show by Glamfields. The company is called Glamfields. And one of the most important things you can do when you're cooking is wash your hands. So make sure you wash your hands. This is a soap dispenser by Glamfields. And it's automatic, so I don't have to touch it. I don't have to pour it out or pump it or anything, right? So I got it filled up. I put the batteries in. I'm going to turn the power on. Okay, so this is switch back here that lets you go one drip or two drips. I'm gonna do two drips. I switched it up back here, see? There's a switch back here on how much soap you want. And then let's make sure, all right? So I push the power button. I put, there we go. Okay, there's a drop of soap. Let's try it again. There's an, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you got the pump ready. That's how, see how that works? Right there, whoops, it's doing it again. I guess I'm going under it. So I'm gonna hold on to this soap dispenser because I wash my hands all the time. When I'm done making the meatballs, I'm gonna wash my hands. When I'm done touching the sausage, I'm gonna wash my hands. So Glamfields, thank you so much for sending me this from my kitchen and I'm gonna have automated soap from now on. So there you go, grab yourself one. It's a great inexpensive gift for the foodie in your life. Okay, first thing you wanna do is start with your meat in a bowl. You're just gonna, basically it's, it's meat, ground meat with seasoning. You can use breadcrumbs if you want, we're not doing that. So we're gonna take one egg as a binding agent to help our meat stay together. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of onion, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of basil. You can just put in Italian seasoning if you want. That has all of it in there, rosemary, thyme, all that stuff. But I don't use rosemary and thyme in my meatballs. All right, we got the meat all seasoned. It's real simple, just mix it up. Break the yolk, get it into all the meat. Get all the seasoning and all the meat. Now what I like to do is, I'm not into whole sausages, I like partial sausages. So what I do is I take my shears and I slice them in half. So I get twice as many sausages for my company who's coming over. Okay, when you're making meatballs, Make sure you keep them small. Some people like really big meatballs. They tend to fall apart if they're too big. So make them small, heat a little oil in the pan. You may not need oil if your 
if your meatballs are real fatty, make sure you got your meatballs and your sausage right by the pan. We're gonna cook all our sausage and we're gonna cook all our meatballs right now first before we add them into the sauce. All right, when I put my meatballs in, I put in about eight or nine and I put them in a circle, but I leave the middle empty so I can roll my meatballs into the middle. I'll show you. All right, let's see if I can demonstrate how I roll my meatballs. They're already cooked on one side. If I roll them quickly, see, I use the extra space to roll a meatball and get on the side that's not cut. Watch. See? They slip. You gotta be real quick about it. Sometimes I'll use another meatball to help the meatball flip. I just can't get it to flip on its own, so I'll roll against other meatballs and then spread it out. Don't worry if they get flat on one side. That's totally okay. Another trick is to scoop the meatball out and then drop it back in. Drop it in. You want to get the other side of the meatball. There you go. The meat, sausage, and meatballs are all been browned and fully cooked. So this, this leftover grease from your meatballs and your sausage, you have a choice. I'm going to take half of it and put it in my sauce. You don't have to use this grease, but this is where all the meat flavoring is. It's instead of cooking the sauce with the meat that you can pour some of this in with the sauce and mix it up and it's so good. All right, now I'll start working on the sauce. It's just plain old, I use Marzano tomatoes peeled and then I grind them up to make them a sauce, okay? So the first thing I wanna do, cause I wanna give it this other pan, is I'm gonna pour some of this grease in there. There we go. Just a drop of grease in there to add flavor. A little bit of oregano. I am heavy seasoning on my sauce. It's so good every year. My mom was like that too. I don't remember, remember the early years when my mom was alive, but she, was, she hated being filmed. Basil, she put a lot of seasoning, mixed it all in. Throw a little wet garlic in there. Okay, next thing we're gonna put in is our tomato paste. There it is, we're gonna drop that in. Next thing we're gonna sprinkle in some onion. Okay, here's another option. If you don't want wine, don't put wine in your sauce. I put wine in my sauce. There we go, usually I use Merlot. And now we're done. We have everything for the best sauce y'all ever taste. I'm telling you. Little wine, little grease, little green seasoning, little garlic, lots of garlic. Oh, and we're gonna, we're gonna start putting the meat now into this sauce. So get your tongs out and start gently dropping your meatballs in. Grab yourself a lid, make sure it's got a little steam hole. If it doesn't, then just put your lid off a little bit like this. Crack it, whoops, you can't see, can you see it? Yeah, crack it right there to let steam out so your sauce thickens over time. We're gonna cook this on low for a couple hours because company won't be here for another three, four hours. Let's talk about these noodles. Pasta Zero. So there's a few things you gotta do. The first thing I do is open this package, there's water in it. See, it's filled with water and noodles in it. Or water and, I think it's, a, it's like a Japanese root. But anyway, you're gonna wash it off and get all the yucky water that it's been packed in. Wash it off clean so that your noodles are just fine. You have three choices. You can microwave this, you can throw in a Skittle, which I'm doing. I'm throwing in a Skittle with some garlic butter or you can boil it. It's already pre-cooked, you don't have to worry about it. You could eat it right now, right out of the bag. So here's your skillet. I'm gonna use garlic butter. I have this Chef Chamois thing I found at Sam's Club. It's really good garlic butter, so we're gonna put a bunch of that in here. Melt it and then throw the noodles in and warm them up. All right, I just dropped in the noodles. I'm kind of mixing them around so they get the garlic butter flavor. <clears throat> they look just like spaghetti. Look at that. Feels like spaghetti. It doesn't chew like spaghetti, it's a little bit firmer. 
It's like al dente, spe um, al dente spaghetti. <clears throat> All right, once your noodles start steaming, <clears throat> you see steam coming up. Give it a few minutes to get most of the water off. And then, uh, I think I'm mostly butter in here. And then just pl put them on a plate, sauce it up. Put a little cheese on this. Here we go. It's beautiful. There you go. Shirataki noodles with meatball and sausage. Ah, my kitchen's a mess. I got cleaning up to do, but first, let's try this out. The number one thing I smell in this dish is garlic. Because I put a lot of garlic in, plus the garlic butter. Garlic, garlic, garlic. So let's give it a try. Now, forgive me, this is going to be messy, because the thing with the difference between the pasta and the shirataki noodles is when you have it hanging out of your mouth, you, you could pinch the noodles and it would drop off and it, you would eat that on the next bite. But the shirataki noodles don't pinch off. They're more firm, so, so I gotta make sure I get it on my mouth. So forgive me if it looks messy. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. That's not a good one. Hold on. Let's get a good one. Let's get a little bit. That's why I cut them in half this time. Last time I had them, they were too big. So good. I cannot explain how good the sauce is, how good the noodles were warmed up in garlic butter. Let's try one of these meatballs right now. I've been dying for one of them. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Everything tastes homemade. Try this out. Let me know what you think of the new noodles, all right? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.